Dear students, today let's discuss angles made by a transversal. Transversal may be a new word for you. Let's discuss what is transversal. After this module, you will be able to identify different angles made by a transversal. First, we see transversal. Here you can see a line L, another line M and these two lines cut by a line like this, line P. L and M cut by another line P. Next figure, line A, line B and line C cut by these two lines. This here, line P and line C are called transversal. Line P, here line C are called transversal. A line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called transversal. This line P meets at line L and line M. These are two points of intersection. Same as Line C meets here one point, here another two point, total two points. So, a line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal. Here you can see another line L, line M. Here, now we call this line P as transversal. P is a transversal here. When a line L and line M cut by a transversal P, eight angles are formed. This is the angles made by transversal. Here eight angles are formed. These eight angles have special names. So let's discuss the that special names for angles made by a transversal. Let's discuss. Here you can see line L, line M. This is the transversal. Line P is the transversal. You can see eight angles on this screen. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, angle 8 are the eight angles. These have special names. We know Angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. These three angles are inside these two lines L and M. These are inside of these two lines. Therefore, this name angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6. These four lines name is interior angles. Interior angles. These are inside of the lines. Next you can see outside angles. That is outside of these two lines. Clearly we know angle 1, angle 2 are in yellow colors. Angle 7, angle 8. These four angles are outside of these two lines L and M. That's name is exterior angles. So you can understand interior angle and exterior angles. Next, the same figure. We can see angle 1 and angle 5. Here you can see angle 1 and angle 5. Angle 1 is left side and on the line L. Here 5 is left side and on the line M. That is one pair. Angle 1 and angle 5 are with the same position. The angles on the same position on the transversal. Then another pair. You can see angle 1 and angle 5. Another pair. Angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6 also with the same position. On this line M. This is on this line L. Same position. Another pair. Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 4 and angle 8. These Pairs. These four pairs are 
on the same position so its name is corresponding angles these pairs are called pairs of corresponding angles next pair angle 3 and angle 6 you can see angle 3 and angle 6 angle 3 and angle 6 are interior angles but opposite position angle 3 here angle 6 this is the transversal and angle 3 and angle alternate position also angle 4 and angle 5 here angle 4 and angle 5 this also interior and alternate position its name is alternate interior angles alternate interior angles next angle 1 and angle 8 you can see angle 1 and angle 8 this also opposite position angle 1 and angle 8 we call the name angle 3 and angle 6 alternate interior angle so what's name angle 1 and angle 8 another pair angle 2 and angle 7 angle 2 and angle 7 these are exterior angle and also alternate so its name is alternate exterior angles first one is alternate interior angle second one is alternate exterior angle next angle 3 and angle 5 listen angle 3 and angle 5 angle 4 and angle 6 two pairs angle 3 and angle 5 are same position same side of the transversal interior angles and same side of the transversal this angle's name is angles interior angles on the same side of the transversal so these are the names of different angles these are the names of different angles eight angles have special name these are the special names you watch the video again and again then only you can understand the name very clearly okay one question is here in the adjoining figure identify here you can see line a line b and p is the transversal here angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 the position of the angles are changing angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 angle 8 our question a the pairs of corresponding angles corresponding angles so we start from angle 4 and angle 8 here angle 4 angle 8 these are corresponding with the same position on line a on line b left side left side <coughs> pairs of corresponding angles another pair angle 1 and angle 5 same position angle 1 and angle 5 next angle 3 and angle 7 next angle 2 and angle 6 angle 2 and angle 6 next question b question the pairs of alternate interior angle we know these four are alter interior angle 3 2 8 5 these four are interior angle alternate means 3 and 5 next pair 2 and 8 you can see here angle 3 and angle 5 angle 2 and angle 8 c question the pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Interior angles are angle 3, angle 2, angle 8, angle 5. Same side means 3 and 8. Next pair 2 and 5. Here you can see angle 3 and 8, <coughs> angle 2 and angle 5. Next question. Vertically opposite angles. This is very simple. Vertically opposite angle. Consider first angle 1. Which is the vertically opposite angle of angle 1? Angle 3. Next, angle 4 and angle 2. Here, when we take angle 8, opposite is angle 6. Then angle 5 and angle 7. Four pairs are there. Angle 1 and angle 3. Angle 4 and angle 2. Angle 8 and angle 6. Angle 5 and angle 7. Okay. These are the questions of question number 1, A, B, C, D. You watch the video, then only you can understand it very well. Next, you have one follow-up activity. 
the question is who is known as the prince of mathematicians who is known as the prince of mathematicians okay children that's all for today thank you